Where can we look to make sense of the world? All right, that is the question for today. That is number 79 on the list of the 144 fractal faculties of the tree of life. If you'd like to uh, get a quick refresher course on the tree of life, just click the link in the, uh, I'm sorry, just uh, check out my video that is called a Tree of Life, an Introduction. And uh, you also can uh, click the link in the description to get my free copy of the 144 fractal faculties, a list of all of those in uh, abstract form. Uh, it'll be a big help uh, to you if you're going to be watching any of these videos. You'll be able to kind of compare and contrast and um, look ahead and uh, be able to just kind of see all of them at once. Okay, now today we're looking at number 79. And this is the tree of life. Um, now, um, if you go back to my video number 62 uh, in this series, I explained this a little bit further, but uh, you may think uh, the tree of life um, sides are reversed. Um, to me, that at, at least at this point in time, and I'm willing to debate and discuss this, but um, it doesn't matter to me. Um, I think it's a symmetry and uh, I've also uh, looked at kind of like uh, applied this to the Silva method and um, I believe that you can uh, uh, have the tree in either either configuration with this on the left side or on the right side and that it depends on what your brainwave state is. Uh, if you are in a trans brainwave state such as uh, um, alpha or theta or delta, then um, the left side is always the future and the right side is uh, toward the past. And so um, when you have the future on the left hand side, that is more corresponding to uh, this pillar here, which is uh, you know having to do with the left hand, but with the right brain. So it's just a matter of whether you're using brains or hands, and then whether you're in a trance or whether you're in beta. Um, and I see both of these as being rotating, like this is a counter rotating action. So it's rotating in both directions at the same time. So I feel like um, there's no um, wrong way to do the tree in terms of left to right. Now up and down, that would be different. But um, anyway, just an aside there. Anyway, the tree of life is a map of our consciousness. And the, each one of these circles or spheres, 12 of them, which includes the abyss and above the tree, these are our 12 aspects of consciousness or our faculties of consciousness or uh, ca capabilities of consciousness, potentialities of consciousness. And then today for number 79, we are looking mainly at the fourth sphere. We're located in the fourth sphere. And the fourth sphere really corresponds to our sense or our faculty of law and order. This is how we, uh, we are able to kind of go inside and be able to intuit what law, the law and order of the natural law, as opposed to like the police law or the state law, but the natural law and order of things. How, um, you know, what is the purpose? What are we doing here? What are, where did we come from? What is our relationship with God? Who is God? You know, how, how did all this originate? And also all of the different cycles and, and um, uh, gestation periods, the different uh, cycles of time and how they all fit together in this grand symphony that the Chinese call the Tao. So that is all located here at the four sphere corresponds to the universal law, the universal language, and universal love. So this is all uh, kind of four sphere stuff. Uh, also corresponds to uh, syncretism or synthesis, taking uh, things according not to their concrete superficial aspects, but to their abstract and more 
uh, functional aspects. They're, they're deep inside aspects and um, putting them together into harmonious uh, wholes that are um, that is what you would call synthesis or syncretism. Okay, and then now for this, the second step is really uh, to go from 12 to 144. And to go from 12 to 144, you take it to the second power. 12 times 12 is 144. So to get to the 144 fractal faculties, what you do is you take the whole tree, you shrink it down to a small size, and you apply it to each one of the spheres. In this case, the fourth sphere. So now we break down the fourth sphere into a mini tenth sphere, a mini ninth sphere, a mini eighth sphere, a mini seventh sphere, all within the fourth sphere. And today for number 79, what we're really talking about is the fourth sphere within the fourth sphere. So this is really kind of like the, the heart of the matter in terms of the fourth sphere. Um, and today, uh, that is number 79. That's called uh, cosmological systems. Stage number 79 is about published sources that purport to explain all things in life and how they work. A complex system of eternal metaphysical principles, a comprehensive statement, uh, written statements of the universal law. Laws themselves are permanent. So the more accurate the cosmology, the longer lasting. Natural laws are observations, while human laws are codes or commandments. But, with, uh, but the ancient cosmologies tend to be outmoded, fragmented, tampered with, and mistranslated while the modern cosmologies tend to be biased, blissed out, pigeonholed, ego-driven, and money-driven. So take a syncretic approach. Mix and match comparative cosmology, whatever resonates, uh, cosmology. Many cosmologies, like the Bible, are taken from much older and even more complete sources. The workings of the natural law are arrived at through living, through observing, through researching, studying, hypothesizing, experimenting, and insight. More, more effective cosmologies, some of the authors include Michelle Small Wright, many of the black creative musicians, Crop Circle Makers Collective, the Sumerian Tablets, Carlos Castaneda and his Acolytes, Joseph Schillinger, Louisa Teich, Starhawk, and other disciplined nonviolent witchcraft practitioners, Pelestration by Dirk Lorenzen, the Sch uh, Schwaller de Lubitzes, Terence McKenna's Plant Revolution, Buckminster Fuller and other synergetic studies, the raw material, Dewey Bernard Larson and his reciprocal system of theory, and also uh, Bruce Perrette, KVK Nehru, and their reciprocal system too. And, of course, the Tree of Life. To name a few proposed and relatively successful, if not perfect, cosmologies. There is no such thing as perfect. Uh, as far as cosmologies are go. When in doubt, though, go with the reciprocal system too, as it is an updated system of theory, a set of principles that can be applied to any subject. Systems of theory root out bias, empowering the student, for if we learn the system, we can apply it for ourselves. If we assemble a systematic worldview, then we'll also find that fear goes away. Do more with less, like nature does. Maintaining order, observations, not commandments, on the way nature behaves. Truth 
is a relationship or ratio that allocates to all things their place in time and space, including powers. Intuitions are the source of the moral code. Intuitively perceive the abstract general class to which specific issues belong. We inherit what came before us in our cultural lineage. Cosmologies are a whole way of life. All right, that is number 79, the fourth fractal of the fourth sphere, cosmological systems. And um, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Click the link in the description if you'd like to get a free copy of the listing of all 144 fractal faculties, along with a short abstract on each one. Uh, you also can uh, donate to the project directly through uh, Cash App or Venmo listed in the description. I'll be um, doing number 80 and uh, putting it up here um, sometime in the very near future, so stay tuned for that. There may be a few other surprises in store in terms of um, video production here coming up soon as well. So uh, keep your eyes peeled. Um, and uh, otherwise, have a great day and hope to see you soon.